Greetings everyone, Lily Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Wednesday, August the 3rd, and this is the Pottinger Boss Alpen Pack by Mr. Steyer and Linder Power. 21.99 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. And on console, it is 13 and 14 slots for this pack of three forage harvesters. Not harvesters, forage wagons. Now, before I start, I want to thank the six people who watched my first video uh, where the uh, audio cut out very early on and um, it was a silent movie. So thanks to Smoke82, and I do not remember who the other person who commented because it disappeared when I pulled the video. So <clears throat> attempt number two <clears throat> is here we go. Uh, these will be found under Forge Wagons. And we have the the uh, pack of three, the 211, 251, and 291. They all have exactly the same options. So um, all you need to know <clears throat> is they have various capacities. This one up to 13.5, 16.1, and 18.7 thousand liters. Um, and hold your standard... Uh, forage type products at 10 miles per hour etc etc now we'll look at this one because it has some interesting options I haven't seen before on a forage wagon we have folded which if you notice up at the top, top left is 14.5 thousand liters um, <clears throat> and this one's a 70 horsepower rating uh, folded half unfolded it'll raise up your capacity to 17.1 and then unfolded 18.7 and then you have your silage additive um, so they all do that oddly enough no extra oh the silage additive adds a charge but making them bigger doesn't so I, I'm not really sure why um, you have that option it's kind of befuddling to me somewhat anyways um, <clears throat> The next interesting option is the uh, tires. You have Trelleborg minus Vertistein BKT back to Trelleborg. In Trelleborg, you have uh, twins and then a wide, wide with twins. Hmm, interesting. Never seen twin tires on, <clears throat> on a forge wagon before. Midas has a twin option. Vertistein has a twin option. BKT has a twin option, and back to Trailer. Trailerberg is the only one that has a widened twin, a plus a, just a twin. And then the third interesting option is the drawbar, which is the uh, hitch at the front. <clears throat> you have fixed or hydraulic, which we will show you what that is all about. And that's it. Uh, the horsepower ratings, uh, 50, 60, and 70 for the small, medium, and large. And that's about it for your options. Now, <clears throat> <coughs> sorry, too much talking. Um, here's the smallest one. If we get in our little Massey here, we'll back her up a little bit. And uh, so the, the standard lifting and lowering the pickup is all there. Uh, turning it on and off with the uh, L1 and the circle and the square, the square turning on and off. Yes, of course. <clears throat> the R1, here is where you have your R1 and right stick adjustable tongue uh, height, and that is because of the hydraulic. If you have the fixed, you cannot adjust it. It is fixed in place, right? So you can adjust it for the height of whatever uh, the hitch of whatever you are using it and then um, the unload unload here like so so that's pretty standard uh, we'll close that up we'll start it up and move forward uh, the pickup width is pretty standard uh, didn't seem to have any problems um, other than um, yeah, well, it, it works fine. <clears throat> so we have the larger one here. Everything exactly the same. It's not exactly like, except this one I have put the silage additive in it. And 
we start it up and we turn it on and we move forward and start picking up grass uh, the grass fills up but the silage additive does not go down so that means either one of two things number one uh, it's not working it's not using the silage additive number two is it is using the silage additive it's just not taking it out and you're getting unlimited silage additive so either way I think it probably needs a little tweak a little update not nothing major it's just um, yeah it's just it's not showing that it's being used so um, you could you could do some testing. Um, <laughs> uh, there is a way to do it, but I don't feel like doing it actually uh, because it's uh, either way it needs to be fixed. Whether whether or not it's using it or not is somewhat immaterial to this test. The fact is, it's not showing. Uh, it's not using up the silage additive that is in uh, that is that we put in there so uh, other than that everything else works perfectly fine um, the twin wheels on the back I don't know if that helps or hurts it or what but um, yeah um, as for the uh, size I mean if you <clears throat> you can't use the silage additive if you have it in the slightly folded position or the folded position but it will still fill up it'll just fill up at the lower capacity uh, so I'm not sure what that's all about either um, but as far as that goes uh, everything else works fine so I'm going to label it again possible update well and say it does need an update but it's not a game breaking thing um, I suppose it might turn some people off with the silage additive not working although it's only available if you open it up fully I, I don't know it's uh, it's something I'm gonna leave up to all of you people and hopefully my volume my microphone is working now <clears throat> And we will have a successful video. Uh, I'm Looney Farm Guy, and this has been the Pottinger Boss Alpen Pack by uh, Miss, Mr. Steyer and Linder Power. 21.99 megabytes to download. And just remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.